ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for a game that you didn't know you wanted? So, validate struggling singles in your area. Visual novel. 12 struggling, struggling singles in your area. Now, it has a thing to go along with it, so let's check this bad boy or bad girl, depending on your uh, gender <laughs> preference. Validate struggling singles in your area. Struggling singles in your area. Full game launch, spring 2021. Validategame.com. Wow. I want to know if this is a troll game. Like, are they making this, like, seriously making this? Or if this is just one of those things to stir up controversy and... To, to you know to get people to come out and show how homophobic they are and transphobic they are and... or is this a legit fucking game that's gotten uh, $20,000 $727 backers 20 days ago so story what is validate Validate is a visual novel in which you maneuver yourself through twisting paths of young adulthood. Set in set in the Jersey City area, twelve struggling singles in their twenties navigate through the trying ordeals of capitalism to find meaning in their lives. They're not going to find meaning in their lives because they're all fucking, uh, you know, you saw what they looked like. So these are the people who wake up every day and get offended over everything. They're not going to find meaning in their lives. So, uh, good luck with that. Meaning in their lives includes a hint of love, cosplay, and even mediocre mixtapes in the mix. Oh, <laughs> aren't we so quirky and just, we're so cool. With 12 playable characters, fight to the death. No, over 30 routes to choose from, there will, there will only be one. There will be about 20 to 30 hours of content, depend depending on how you play it. We don't know if you're reading fast or not. Whether your decisions are good, bad, or just tremendously shitty, you're going to have a great time falling in or out of love with these characters. You can hear me slipping into that DBZ voice. You know, I'm talking like this, and then I'm talking like this. Find out on the next exciting episode. No, um... The sun shines out over cold Jersey City. The wind isn't blowing as hard as it usually does. <laughs> if you guys want me to do an entire video like that, or like fucking read or narrate something, let me know. But you still find yourself hugging your coat a bit closer to your body sh to shield yourself from the cold. Hurrying yourself along, you duck into a hair salon your friend pointed you towards. And the warmth of a space heater fills your body with warmth. No, fills your body with the moment you step in. The room is dark. All lights pointed toward the area in the far back that sort of looks like a makeshift stage. It's full of faces you've never seen. And eventually, one of those faces will be yours. Like the haunted mask. 
They look so warm, yet so distraught. Just like in the haunted mask. Did you just walk into a cult? You decide to sit yourself in the corner and cry for a bit because you just walked a mega hat and you got triggered, so now you gotta go find the sit oh wait, sorry, that's not that's not even what's written here. Pulling out your phone to text one of your friends, hoping one can get you in t your time of need. Who will text you? Find out on the next exciting episode. <laughs> um can you imagine what happens when you put 12 struggling single adults in a room and just tell them to interact? Neither can we. Validate is a game set in modern day Jersey City. Or like Jerky City. <laughs> in which you have to survive as an adult in your 20s. Pfft. And that's something these kids now know nothing about. They're not surviving. They're just kind of going along, getting triggered, complaining, uh, demanding stuff be given to them. So, this game will probably reflect that a lot. They'll probably talk about, you know, how the patriarchy is oppressing them, how white people are oppressing them, how their systematic racism oppressing them. You know, the typical shit, because, you know, these people can't think outside the box, and video games for them have to reflect reality completely. So, this game is probably going to be horrendous. But it's made for that 1%, so specifically for that 1%. We'll get into that. Uh, difficult? Hell yeah. Have you seen the price of rent lately? Oh, God. That's what happens when you try to live in an expensive city. Rent is a lot. The rent is too damn high. The goal is to survive and maybe attempt a date. Mm hmm but you'll be ultimately re but you might ultimately realize that the war the world isn't on your side and you're incapable of love kind of like me or are you will you find true love will the saiyans be able to defeat frieza no um much like i'm sorry i'm getting so off track here much like in real life you'll have to check out all your options first this is a disclaimer this game will include content of themes that may not be suitable for all ages, such as swearing, mentions of death, drugs, alcohol, and sexual situations. Player discretion is advised. <sighs> Alright, so you ready for this dream team? These This all-star cast? These people that we're supposed to fall in love with? Alonzo Davids, 22. He, him. Yes, it's going to be this kind of game. They're probably going to ask Every time that you interact with another person, they're probably going to say, Hey there, my name is so-and-so, and my pronouns are... Or they're going to come to a point where it's going to be that they don't say it, and the other person assumes their gender, and assumes their pronouns. You fucking dig it? So, he, him, actual dad of the year. Your angle and your... Did they do that on purpose? Spelling your wrong? Your angle and your devil. This is why I think it's a troll. Namaste the fuck out of these DMs. Who needs Facetune when you have bougie film and 38 ring lights? Personal trainer. Anoki... Whatever, because I can't tell what that fucking the way it's written. I'm guessing those are H's. Hatitika? Hatitika? Whatever. 22. She, her, he, him, they, them. Wow, they're just broad antibiotics, aren't they? On God, fuck white people. Cosplaying a kid is just wearing your everyday outfit. Urban planner. Professional cosplay. Arihi Oraihai Cooper. 27. He, him. Marriage is a scam created by the government to make people rely on others. Claims romance is dead. Yearns anyway. He the hopeless romantic is in that tweet. Marriage counselor. Yeah, if I had problems, this is not the fucking jackass that I'd be going to. Ashley Colum. 24. She, her. Calling people slurs on the internet isn't very gamer of you. Saying poggers to numb the pain. Professional gamer. Biggie Smallson. Or Big Smallson. 
25. He, him. 6 4 since 2007. So, what were you before 2007? Were you 6 foot? Were you 5 2? What? Openly buy and ready to fly. Best P PUS driver on the block. God. Good bussy. <laughs> Delivery driver at PUS. Well, we gotta get every flavor, so now we gotta have the overweight black. Catherine Pinla, 24. She, her. Country girl, country girls make do. Captivating like a comet, easy to forget. <sighs> Touch her BB baby collection and both she and her four-year-old daughter will drown you in tears. Editor at GH Magazine. Amari Abdi. Gotta get that representation. 28. She, her, he, him. Bitches love drama in the workplace until it involves them. Lesbians born after 1994 can't cook. All they do is eat ramen, buy seven wedding rings, eat hot chips, and cry. HR specialist. Did they think of, like, oh, hey, let's just try to think of the most edgy things that we can possibly come up with? Because that's all it is. It's like a bunch of fucking quotes or things you think are edgy or what they think are edgy and they're just fucking Anias is that an I? Syphy original croissant dropper ooh, 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 see look how quirky we are stim blogger during the height of 2014 bum bumbler they say blocking is the best way to win an argument but that's just cowardice talking oh the irony Oh, the irony. Food scientist. I really think this chick should have been the food scientist. Or her. One of them should have been the food scientist. She should... These two should have swapped. She should have been the food scientist. And she should have been the theater teacher. Isabel Morgan. 27. She. Her. Liked Spamilton before it was cool. Yeah, I was, like, doing that before it was cool. So, you're, like... You're so conformist. No longer liked Spamilton. Bitch... What is with this whole bitches be? Like, we got fucking... Bitches love drama in the workplace. Bitches be singing all the time. Bitches be singing all the time and wonder why people call them birds. Uh -huh -huh. Malik Patter Paterson, 26. He, him... Men stay in touch with the girls they never should have cheated on and get mad when they file a restraining order. Trash ass mixtape. Kill your producer. Manager at Popeyes. Really? Rocky Harrison. I'm sorry. That is not a he him. Still riding the high of winning the sixth grade spelling bee. Fellas, is it gay to plan your wedding with a man you just met? Business and parties in the front, unending yearning in the back. And finally, Yolanda! Yolanda Circe, hair Silas doll, listens to too much La Dispute. See, and there again with the fucking bitches say they love poetry and then go after emotionally unavailable men. Sis, you're worried about the wrong dick and thin. So that's like what, the third, fourth one that says bitches? Yeah. Isn't that a little sexist? Twelve playable characters with 30 plus roots. The ability to choose horrible decisions and see the entertaining fallout. Hashtag own voices narrative writing by an all people t color team. Oh boy. Original score by the boys. Well very inclusive. They talk about inclusivity and their the group or whatever is called the boys. A beautiful array of artists of, of artists of colors what a beautiful array of artists of colors work to give each character their own individual feeling um no pandering 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 oh yeah very unique feel for each of them uh 
backgrounds taken from all around the world, flawed characters undergoing narrative arcs held, handled with empathy and self-indulgence, achievements for every single ending. Why do you need achievements for every single ending? It's okay to lose. But then again, these are the people who grew up on, on fucking participation trophies. It's okay to lose. Why do we need a Kickstarter? Because you guys aren't... <laughs> this game's gonna be fucking horrible. So, this is, you know, the pledge and all that great stuff. Uh, now, stretches, the stretch goals. So, 16,000. Bro, we met our goal and God, we making this game. So, these are... Right here is what you want to look at. $32,000. We'll put a white person in the game. Sad face. So. This is what it was. And then for 100000 white person removed from final game. Nice try, uh, nice tactic to get the money in, huh? Oh, if you give us $32,000, we'll put a white person in the game. Oh, but you give us a hundred thousand, that white person we added in, we'll take them out for you. So is so that we feel inclusive because white people, they they don't need to be in this. It's all about the peoples of colors. Because apparently white isn't a color. Also, this bullshit. So this just shows how fucking pretentious and narcissistic and just condescending these fucking people are and I mean they have animate little about what they look like but what can you expect coming from a bunch of people who look so see how they look normalish and cute and all that in uh, little anime forms yeah well they're probably fat and ugly and all that in real life and if they're even if they're good looking they're horrible fucking people so not too far out to see them do something like this with horrible spellings and so and also you can read this almost as like this is, we are so so sorry we didn't put any white people in our game we wanted to appreciate diversity and we didn't you know so and here we would never do anything to hurt your precious white feelings. So, uh, yeah. Bit of condescending. Little, uh, ass hattery there. Actually, let's see what people say. No. Okay. Validate has a dev team composed entirely of people of color with the head developer being a black woman. We created Validate because we wanted to see a game with people like us and we're having fun with it. It's funny how they call the name Validate and that's exactly what they do in every aspect of their life. Validation. And I've been saying this. Pe other people have said it so I'm not just saying it was me. But Validation. They are constantly, constantly looking to be acknowledged. To be noticed, to have people say, "Oh, that you know this about you, that about you," but not if it's negative. They want positive validation, of course. Sometimes people take negative validation. That being said, we care deeply about our game, and we adore everyone who everyone everyone who has shown us support. We've reached out primary uh, funding out. We've reached out primary funding goal so this game is gonna smack we promise what the fuck are they talking about so this game is gonna smack we promise who fucking talks like that is this just a new fucking like millennial gen z fucking language that we're we're hearing because i know i certainly didn't talk like this when i was a kid and i didn't know anyone else who did and i lived in fucking california i've never heard anyone talk like this also, we like to make note that there are white people in Validate. Yeah, the ones that you add after you reach $32,000. Is it 32 or is it 36? 
yeah, there's going to be white people in it after you reach 32,000. But then it gives you the option of giving them 100,000 and taking the white person out. So, also, yeah, so there are white people in Valerie. Somewhere, you'll find them. The cry typing tweet that made that we made now delete it was purely a joke mocking the cry typing and we apologize for any confusion no I seriously doubt it was just joking and mocking because of the way these guys are typing they are very condescending and narcissistic and like I said validation validate so obviously it's not a game for me people who are watching this it's probably probably not a game for you because you know the kind of person I am and if you're subscribed to me then chances are you're not this kind of person either but if you want to play it go ahead like I said you can next year when it comes out buy it play it and uh, get your money back you know if it's gonna be like on Steam or something play it say you didn't like it I know they say it's like 20 30 hours of gameplay but that's if you sit there reading all the dialogue. Sometimes, yes, go home. So, so if you want to go ahead and buy it, go ahead. Now, I'm not going to stop you. I'm not going to sit there and tell you you shouldn't. But I think we know what kind of uh, feedback people they're going to get from this. And of course, they're going to blame it on the haters, they're going to blame it on racists, they're going to blame it on misogynists, they're going to blame it on homophobes, they're going to blame it, uh, blame it on xenophobes, you name it, they're going to blame it on them. Rather than accepting that they just made a fucking stupid game, they're going to sit there and try to blame everyone else. Mark my words. In, when did they say? It said 20... in 2021 spring 2021 so I mean you still got almost yeah it's quite a f bit of time there so bookmark this and mark my words this game is going to suck and if it's on Steam it's gonna get terrible down votes it's gonna get plenty of bad reviews and the only people giving it the positive reviews are the hardcore people who are just like them but play the game don't actually like it but just like oh well it, you know oh my god this game was the best because it had representation and I'm all for representation so even if they don't like it they're gonna leave a positive review because it's representation and that's what I say they will look for validation like, why can't you just have a fucking video game that's fantasy why do you have to see yourself in a video game video games are meant to escape reality if you're trying to make fucking video games based on real life like this it's that's why I don't play games like that like the, the little novel type ones because I play video games to escape from it I don't want to see myself in a video game so. but uh yep Star studded cast. Star studded cast. <sighs> yep. People you would expect to work on this game. Do they have an Instagram? Oh. Other social media. Let's see. Our website. It's too fucking pink. Come on. I'm putting something there. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Contact. Let's see, they got Twitter. No, don't know. Yep. 
Mm-hmm. Well, they bas he looked basically like what I thought he would. Validate. So I was looking through their Twitter, and uh, this is Meet the Team. I'm Nasir. I'm a Muslim, Arab, Latino, trans man, and I designed and did the sprites for him. Amhari Abdi, who is a black, Arab, trans, lesbian. I was raised in the Middle East and I study in Chicago. Well, that explains a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> but if you go through their um, stuff, it's just a bunch of stupid shit. A bunch of memes that they're trying to make and thinking are funny and cool. Bruh. Talking about gender with trans people versus talking about tra gender with cis people. Well, of course other trans people are going to get it because they're fucking trans. But So it's basically just a bunch of stupid shit. Anyways, that's going to do it for me. It's almost fucking 30 minutes. God damn. Anyways, yeah, this... I'm I'm still holding out that this game is just a fucking joke, um, and if not, anyways, what do you guys think about it? Like I said, you guys can buy it if you want. I'm not gonna stop you. Uh, if you want to waste however much money it's gonna be, why it's gonna be like thirty fucking dollars. Spend thirty dollars on that bullshit. Wait for around the holidays when it's marked down to like fucking five. And then you can buy it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. It's going to rain. Bye, guys.